Hey guys! Hello, hello, hello. This is another impromptu. Um, let's see if I can get myself up and going here. Um, I think we are live. Um, awesome! So I have so many orders to do. I just, it always is um, helpful when you guys are here with me, but I just wanted to show you just a really super busy day in my shop. So last night I knew my time was limited today. My kids are at their last day of camp for the, not for the summer, for the week. Um, I picked them up tonight at five o'clock. And um, so I knew I wanted to maximize my entire day because literally I have no children here. My husband is at work. My kids are at camp. Woohoo! So I made a list of all the things that I wanted to try to do today. I have six sport fishing shirts that I need to put logos on. I have 17 more towels that I need to put a logo on. Um, I have 11 applique shirts um, that I need to do. I've got two dresses I need to add names to, and I have two um, shell bags that I need to add names to. So huge busy day. I'm just gonna be working hard and um, hey guys, um good morning good morning good morning so i just thought i'd bring you along um i'm showered i've had breakfast i've just been enjoying my morning so far but now it's time to get to work get to work so getting ready to get everything up and running i do have um comments going up here i don't know how many i'm going to be able to respond to you if you have questions please post them i will go back and look at this later too also once this is posted you can leave any kind of questions that you might have in the comment section. Um, so yeah, let's just get to it. So the very first thing that I'm working on here that I'm getting ready to hoop um, is this amazing um, design that I had digitized for um, a, 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 mm, a fishing tournament that's happening this weekend here in my town. And this is a sport fishing boat. And they brought me these fishing shirts that they wanted to wear at the tournament. So I'm going to go ahead and get that on. These are, um, if you've ever seen these type of fishing shirts, wow, are they thin. Um, so I did my first run um, last night um, because I was actually recording a video on how to have things digitized for your business. And um, so I did the first run while I was doing that and it turned out amazing. So you can see this here, but you can also see how thin that material is, isn't it? Um, so I just did some heavy stabilization. The good thing is these shirts are black, so I don't have to worry about, um, I don't have to worry about the stabilizer showing through on the, um, on, on the front. So heavy stabilization, heavy stabilization was the answer to this project. So what I actually did, I'm using my Mighty Hoop because these are amazing, you guys. I know I don't talk about them enough, um, you know, and I have a couple of videos in the works about these, but um, what is so amazing when you're doing a project like this is the fact that there are snaps, there are mesh linings, there's all different kinds of materials that make just an, a normal hoop that I would have to twist and tighten really difficult where the magnetic hoop just literally just goes, and it grabs everything no matter what, whether there's a buttonhole, whether there's a snap, whatever. So I am definitely using these, it, it worked out perfect. What I chose to do on the first one, and I'm just gonna continue to replicate it, is I took one piece of poly mesh, and then on top of that, a second piece of poly mesh. And let me show you what I did. Um, the very first video that I ever put on YouTube, long before I ever thought of doing, you know, continual tutorials on YouTube, was about how to prevent puckering because I had a classic fail, a beginner's fail. Um, and it has, a, you know, like probably the highest views of anything I have. I'm in my pajamas, you guys. I have to go back and look at it. It was from several years ago. I had no intentions of doing tutorials, but for some reason, I feel like I solved a problem and I just wanted to share it. That's just kind of how my mind works. So anyway, this is kind of what I did, uh, learned back then, is I take a piece of cutaway and I'm gonna place it right over that area. Now my second piece of cutaway, I'm actually going to do diagonal. So I feel like it gives some crosshairs to that. Is crosshairs a word? I don't know. 
And then on the back of that, I'm going to use, um, got it squished, uh, a piece of tearaway. And this is medium weight tearaway. And this is an already um, pre cut piece. Comes, I buy it pre cut. Um, and I think that really just gives it that extra bit of stabilization that this needs. So it has three pieces. Yes, three pieces of stabilization. And some people will watch this and they'll say, um, that's a lot. And you know, each his own. If you've got a better way to do it, have at it. But this is proven results for me. So um, I'm gonna have that this way. Um, let's see. The cool thing about these shirts that I noticed last night is if you look really close, and I don't know if you'll be able to see that on there, there's actually lines that you can see in the fabric. I doubt you can see it that close, but that actually is helpful because it allows me to make sure that it's lined up straight. So I'm going to go put that on the machine and get the next one rolling. Um, I already have it. I since I knew I was going to be doing several of these, I actually saved it to the machine versus, um, well, it's on the USB, but then it's on the machine too. So last night I was really worried about this design. I wanted it to, to be perfect. Um, and so I did it really, really slow. I did it running at like 500. Uh, and normally I run everything full speed ahead. Um, but I was just nervous. I wanted it to be perfect. I love this design and um, I love the group that I'm doing these for. So I just, I just wanted it to, to come out good. I mean, like everything, I wanted it to look good, represent well. Oops. All right. So I'm going to get that one started. Five and six, five and six. So they're good. Stabilize. Perfect. Okay, so I'm going to get that rolling. So the other thing that I'm working on is I have another person that reached out to me for um, a logo for their company. Let's see if I can get these working. Um, I forgot to get on my gear going. Um, about those I am gonna have to add a name to them as well um, but then I also have towels and I'll show you what I'm putting on those so this was another person that um, reached out and wanted their company logo on something um, so I don't know if you can see that red on there so Ferguson O'Connor Realty and these are towels and they brought me 25 of them so I started them last night um, and to finish them today so i made myself like a little where did it go because i need it i need it i need it um but let's see where did it go oh here we go i made myself this little list of things that i have to do today right and i have such joy when i can actually take an item and mark it off to say that i've done it so I'll be doing that throughout the day. Every time I do one of these, I will um, highlight one of the tickers. Um, ah, how am I slow? Well, honestly, I am slow on Etsy. Etsy's insane. Etsy's insane. Um, ah! um, Etsy is insanely slow. I mean, seriously, insanely slow. So, um, So let's see, come on, stay in there. Out of your ears. Yeah, no, Candy. So these are um, people that have reached out to me in the community, and so that's so important. I, some people I've heard, um, I don't think I'm getting these. I'm going to have to hold these. I'm just going to talk loud for right now. Um, 
uh, until I can get those working better. I really don't know how to work them. I'm sorry. Uh, I'll figure it out. Mwah! Um, so anyway, yeah, these are things from the community. And so I think that it's so big to make sure that you allow yourself to do things for those that live around you. Um, you know, at the beginning I was like, oh, I don't want drop porch pickup and drop off and all that mess. But then I was like, you know what? Your biggest supporters are those in your area that you live. And so, you know, this is, you know, someone that I know. This is our company. She said, can you do it? Absolutely, I can do it. And one of the biggest reasons is because I am so slow that I'm like, please, I'll do whatever. And these shirts are for a fishing tournament that's happening here this weekend. Um, the Big Rock. Um, this, this weekend, I believe, is the, no, it's both. Uh, women's and men. I don't know. I can't remember. The like Blue Marlin, Big Rock. Y'all hear about that? Anyway, so these are things local. And then the other ones that I have are the the applique shirts that I have are actually my applique of the month club. So that is something that I do every single month. And then the dresses, um, those are actually two samples that I'm making. Um, and then I had someone message me last night that wanted to order some more shell bags. So a lot of these are. Um, Things that had already been in the works, these aren't new, none of these actually, not a single one of these is an Etsy order. Etsy's still slow, like insanely slow. Like I am spending more on ads than I'm getting in revenue right now. And I want to like curl up in a ball and cry about it, but I'm not. Let me tell you something that I saw that was so motivating to me. I went to, I'm gonna get, I'm gonna get closer and then I'm gonna work. Okay, I went to the aquarium with my son. They have a, um, a, a tank out front, a tank. They have a like uh, fountain out front with fish and um, people throw money in it, right? And you make a wish. So I'm over there making wishes for like my business, for Etsy to pick up, for my sales to take off. Like I'm throwing in quarters. Like I'm not even doing the penny. I want a quarter because I want it to come true. My son's throwing money in. I don't know what he's wishing for. And then I get home and it was like divine intervention, right? Like God spoke to me through Instagram because it, what, I wish I, my phone is recording so I can't look at it. But I literally saw an Instagram post that said, don't wish for it, work for it. And I was like, wow, I don't think that's the right words. But it, it literally said, you can't wish for it, you have to work for it. So it was like an aha, like seriously, Kelly, you can't wish for your business to do well. You just have to work your tail off, right? So it lit like, literally the same day that I was wishing with my quarters, literally the same day that I was throwing money into an aquarium fish tank, wishing for things to pick up, I get an Instagram post that said, you can't wish for it, you've gotta work for it. So let's get to it. Um, so yeah, my son likes to reach in and try to take quarters, and I'm like, you can't take the money out, that's somebody's wish. So I make him film all that. Anyway, we let's work for it, guys. So I'm gonna quit, honestly, my bitching on YouTube about things being slow and just figure out ways to, to grow. And that rhymes. We're going to quit worrying about things being slow, and we're going to work on trying to grow. Hashtag whatever. Okay, work, Kelly, work. Um, so I still have this running at 500, so it takes it a lot longer um, when I do it that way. So, yeah, I'm sure there's a really good um, hashtag for that. But, like I said, quit wishing for it and work for it. And I'm going to quit bitching about being slow and just find ways to grow. There is my Thursday morning motivational speech for you. Um, Candy, I think so. Hard work. Uh, positive thoughts and positive, but not wishing that just like out of nowhere Etsy just drops 10 million sales. I mean, I guess I can think that, but that's not how I'm going to grow. I guess, right? I don't know. Okay. Ah! So, I got, hey guys! Um, these shirts to do uh, times two. So, I've got to work on those. I've already printed out 
what appliques I'm going to be doing. Um, so these are super cute. I've got two different ones that I'm working on and I'm in love with both of them. So I'm getting ready to do this 4th of July. Um, super fun. And I just changed the font for boys. And then also this cute whale. Hi. Uh, that's going to be fun. So working on those. Um, I've got some fun 4th of July fabric that I'll be using to do my fireworks. So, um, let's get to it. Um, I need my list here. That's right, Candy. Get off your butt and let's get some orders done together. Um, all right, we've got Penny. Um, Penny doesn't get 4th of July. Penny just gets whale. Um, Madison is size six. Let's get hers going. Um, I feel like I should do whale first, actually. Let's not do fourth of July. The whale is summer. Um, I need to do, so now I've got to find fabric that I'm going to use for my whale. So I want it to be fun colors. Um, so, I'm over here digging in my fabric. Don't you mind me. Don't you mind me. Would that be cute? I don't know. Like, and then it's going to have the monogram um, in the middle with another piece of applique. I mean, that's kind of cute. Do you like that? Yay, nay? I don't know. All right, that's one option. Or I could just go, I could just go with, like a polka dot, that would be an option. I was kind of thinking this is a whale, maybe I need to do blue. Let's see what blues I've got in here. Um, I'm gonna go to my bigger piece, or oh, I could use seersucker, you know, I like seersucker. that might be what I should use like it's kind of like wavies um that might be cute or you know then there's our blue gingham that would be cute oh goodness I don't know so these are options so the whale is going to have then a piece of um I want to do this hardest times like I look on like Pinterest and and Etsy and um, Facebook and Instagram and I see all these like fabric um, pieces that people put together I'm like oh my gosh they're so good at that I'm so not okay let's see and then I've got just some um... so one option would be to do so it's gonna have let me show you first um... all right so it's gonna have the whale and then in this circle will be a solid piece of color, right? Um, so I was thinking maybe that is the whale and then that is the solid. What do you think? <laughs> okay, maybe that. Or guys, everybody is up and working this morning. That's awesome. Or I could do the waves with the pink. Could do pink with the gingham. I don't know what to do. Okay, I think I think that with the pink, just to give it a little bit of busyness. Let's see. What do you guys say? Uh, I like the waves and the pink. Tell me, tell me, tell me. All right. So the waves and the pink has. Save with the pink, Melissa, that you meant wave with the pink. Okay, so not this. So this is option one with the pink. And this is option two. What do you think? 
All right, so this is option one. And this is option two. Do you think the pink looks okay with that blue? Okay, everybody pretty much said waves of the pink. Everyone said waves of the pink. Okay, waves of the pink it is. Thanks, guys. Waves of the pink it is. All right. Oh, candy. Everybody, oh, no. Ah, now you're throwing me off. I've had more waves of the pink. Let's do waves of the pink. Don't throw me off anymore. I'm just kidding. No, I'm not. Um, okay, let's make room. I'm going to put my iron. Here we go. Now y'all are saying both, and so now y'all are confusing me. So now I'm just going to go with the waves with the pink. Maybe I'll do one of each, because honestly, they're a surprise shirt, so they don't know what's coming. And they don't know what anyone else is getting, I guess, until they look on Instagram and see. Actually, you know what? I'm, that's what I'm going to do. I'm going to do one of each. Because I'm cool like that. And because, like I said, it's a surprise, so... My iron is like heating up. It's not really hot yet. That's why I'm ironing it out the bazooka. All right, let's see. So even though I'm doing this six times, I only print out one since they'll be the same size. So let me get my fabric ready for this. Um, the good thing about this is only two pieces. Well, actually it's three with the bow. I'll just have the bow match it though. All right, so these towels are still just sitting there, aren't they? I need to get them rolling. The shirts, the sports fishing shirts are like crucial that I do today because um, they are being picked up in the morning because that fishing tournament is this weekend. Um, so, definitely need that one rolling. All right. Oh, that's hot now. Playing. Well, I have it running very slow, but I have it on three pieces of stabilizer because when I did my test run, it looked so beautiful. I was like, I'm not changing a thing. I'm just going to replicate. Do you have a good source for beach towels? Before? These were given to me by the customer. Um, they are Great Bay Home is what it says. And it was a four pack set. And then they just sent me a bunch of them. Um, the towels that I've used are both from Sanmar. They're around $11, but then if they still have them, these are from Walmart. Look how cute these are. These are the striped towels um, that I sell and they're $5 a piece. And you can get them in the sets to get all the colors. Like I think some of the colors are sold out online, but then if you go by the four pack, you can get all of them. So I needed um, three, three pink. Pink was sold out by itself. So I ended up buying three sets of four, knowing that I would sell the rest eventually in my group. Um, focus, Kelly, focus. Okay, so we are gonna use my Durkee. I still love my Durkee. My Durkee got scared when I got Mighty Hoops and thought I wasn't gonna use her anymore, but she was wrong because She's still one of my favorites. So, don't want to hurt Durkee's feelings and not use her. Um, all right. So, my first sport fishing shirt is done. Super duper excited. All right. I've not really gotten into a good rhythm yet this morning. I think I'm just excited to see you guys and I'm excited to have the whole day to work. For me, that is, I mean, so rare with three kids, some are just starting um, to have the whole day. 
Uh, my kids are actually at a work camp, which is so cool. It's um, here set up by our church and they basically um, are working out in the community. They're staying at church for the week and they're in work crews and it's just great. It's just a good experience. Um, I know they're getting so much out of it that they don't even realize it's just good for kids that I feel like are a bit spoiled to go out there and see that we don't all live the same um, and, and to give back to our community. So I do have to deliver lunch. So I will have to run out today and deliver lunch to some of the work crews. Um, all right, so there's my first one. Um, yeah, I bet, Alicia, you are so happy to be out for the summer, right? Okay, so we decided to do blue whale with pink circle. So what I'm going to do, knowing that I've got several of these, is just do one. I don't even know where this fabric came from. Um, I'm pretty sure I've had this fabric. Like when I moved, I'm pretty sure I found like a bucket of fabric that I had long before my embroidery career began. And... I think this is one of them. I have had time in my life where I've been slightly obsessed with swirls. I love swirls. Um, and this does have swirls on it. But we're going to say they're waves. Um, so I wish y'all could see my trash can down here. It's, um, anyway, it's overflowing. And I just keep throwing things down there. I'll get it later, I promise. All right, so there's two and there's four. Now I have two boy shirts to do. I will not use this swirl fabric for that. So let me just go ahead and cut these four for the girls. Um, I have a bin that I have down here that I like throw my fabric in. Um, Um, that way later on I will go put it back um, because it is very important to me to keep a clean workroom yesterday knowing that I was um, had a you know busy couple of days of work in here I spent the first hour of my day just organizing and I can't tell you how much better I feel when my workspace is organized. Um, I ended up, I had given, when virtual school started, um, one of my sons um, didn't have a desk. So I gave him the other half of my workstation over here, um, which meant that mommy lost half of her work table. So my husband was like, well, why don't you just use one of our like fold out tables that we use for everything? Because we have so many of them. Um, we used to use it for like tailgating back when, back when we tailgated. Um, so anyway, I went ahead and, and set that up yesterday and was able to put like my um, sewing machine on it. Yeah, my sewing machine was living on the floor. <laughs> and every time I needed it, I would just lift it up and plug it in and that's no way to treat a sewing machine poor little thing all right so there's that should be enough for one and then two let's go a little bit further oh wait i only needed four. Oh well we'll have some extra pink fabric the boys don't need that color um all right so it would have been nice if I had prepped this fabric ahead of time, but once I get it prepped for these, I can kind of do these four pretty quick. All right. Um, oh my goodness. I would love to go to Ikea. I love Ikea. I love Ikea. Now, if you go, oh my goodness, you need like a plan amongst plans. Like I, I, when I went last time, I literally had everything mapped out. Like I knew what aisle, what row. I went with a purpose. 
Uh, I had measured everything to a T. I had checked to make sure it was in stock. Um, I don't know how their stock is now. I know, you know, mid pandemic, um, they were pretty much like everybody else and um, really struggling to keep their stock up. But this table that I, my work table and my desk, they're all from um, Ikea. Oh good, I need the pink for the bow anyway, so it's okay that I have extra. So honestly, the circle can be for one. Um, but yeah, this workstation is from Ikea. Uh, my huge shelving unit back there is from Ikea. My desk is from Ikea. Um, my chair, my pink chair that I love back here. Can you see that's from Ikea? Uh, that was random. Uh, I'm like going through Ikea with my detailed plan like I was telling you about and out popped that chair. I was like, yep, gotta have it. And I've told this story before, I think when I did my um, Ikea video, but I, the last time I went, I took my son because I had read that they have a playground or like a play area that kids can go to while you shop. And I'm like, oh, we'll just make this an outing, you know? We'll get up early and my youngest son and I will just kind of go on an outing and, and um, go to Ikea. So we left for that and um, we get there. Y'all, my son had worn flip flops and you had to have socks to go into the play area. And they don't sell socks. Of course they don't sell socks. And of course I had none. So he did not actually get to go in the play area. He ended up shopping with me and it ended up being fine. We just, we just had fun with it. But, um, holy cow, I was not expecting to have him shop. All right. So I need to check real quick that I'm doing the right one. I'm doing size six and that's for M O L. So let's find M O L. M, 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 O, L. There you are. Reset, rotate, close, edit, M, O, L. I'm having to double check because I only printed this design out once. So now I need to find my thread that I think will complement these. So... I'm going to come over here to my thread wall and, and just kind of, I'm holding my fabric up. Um, I've got a good pink that I can use and there's a good blue. And then I need to do the monogram. All right, I'm going to need y'all's help again. Okay, so... I've got a good blue and I've got a good pink. Um, so the next thing that I have to do is put the monogram inside the circle. So the monogram, so this is going to be the whale. This is going to be the circle that the monogram's on. So do you think, knowing that these are the colors that I'm using, the monogram should be in navy or in green? What do you think? Navy or green? You guys, let me know. Navy or green? Navy or green? 73 people. I want 73 answers. Navy or green? Navy or green? Navy or green? Maybe I'll do one of each because I can. All right. Y'all let me know because then I'll put it on the machine. Uh, I see one navy, two navy, three navy. So navy sounds, it's kind of what I'm thinking. The, the, um, the green might be... Um, too much of a different navy all the way alicia's all in okay everybody ashley nancy everybody says navy okay navy it is done and done put that green up um okay let's get this party started over here this is satin stitch but i love it you know i i i do like to pick um, for my group that I um, do the surprise applique, I tend to, I don't know why, but I tend to do more of the satin stitch. Um, I, I just love satin stitch. Yes, it takes longer. Okay, every single person said navy. So, awesome. Let's see. Let's put this up here. And right now, um, my machines are way too quiet for the amount. 
amount of projects that I have to do. So like I said, I have to cut out for lunch because I'm delivering lunch to the work crews. Um, today is Bojangles. Who loves them? Some Bojangles. Uh, let's see. Three and five. Pull these through. Y'all, I broke a needle. And that, that was like a week ago. I still haven't fixed it. But I rarely have six colors that I'm doing at the same time, so... I do need to take two seconds and fix that. All right, so now I need to assign my colors. We're going to say for the whale, we're doing the blue. And then we're going to outline blue. And then for the bow, we're doing that purdy purdy pink. And the circle, we're doing pink. And then the whale, we're light blue. Circle, pink. And then based on you guys, we're gonna do the monogram in navy. All right. So we're going to get that started. Um, Bojangles, yes. Um, you've only ever had a steak biscuit from Bojangles. Wait, what? My stomach can't handle Bojangles? Oh, that's so sad. My keto diet can't handle Bojangles, but um, that doesn't mean this girl doesn't love her some bowberry biscuits or a cheddar bow biscuit. Uh, that is dreamy, dreamy, dreamy. I love a Cajun Filet biscuit combo with french fries and a sweet tea. <laughs> if you um, aren't from the South, you maybe never heard of Bojangles or heard my um, southern draw. It's funny, my um, southern accent comes out here and there. But if I'm drinking, you're going to hear it real good. How awesome. I mean, that is like the best digitized. Love it. I love it. Okay, I think there's a... Um, I think there's a theme of breast cancer. I don't know. I think that's why she wanted me to do it in pink. Um, so I just pull off the tear away and then I'll cut the um, two stabilizers around the edge. Put my scissors and then I'll get the next one going, but it really looks, I mean, I'm just tickled. I'm tickled pink, get it, it's pink. Um, and I'm wearing pink. So, let's see. Again, my machines are really, 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 really quiet. I don't want to cut that shirt. So, like I said before, I don't mind that there is that extra stabilization on the back because it's black. You can't see it. Um, on the front. So have at it with your stabilization. They would much rather have a beautiful finished product than worry about having some extra, um, you know, pieces in there. But it just turns out beautiful. There isn't a pucker to be seen and it is just beautifully, beautifully digitized. All right, so let me put this one up here. I'm just kind of hanging these up because I don't want them to get but so, um, wrinkled and I just think they look better but I mean y'all look at that Hoo -hoo. I am going to put their name above this Columbia symbol um, but I'm just going to go ahead and do all of the logos first um, so yeah let's see now I need to find my applique scissors where are you hiding underneath my desk here um, maybe I'll move these. Do I have a mess? I mean, I really did clean up, but it's like I have a mess all over again. 
but it's a working mess. Isn't that different? How about I get moving? Oh my goodness, Ashley, you move next week. Wow, girl, just went through that. Um, good luck. I, oh, I do have these two mask bags to mail out today too. Those are just kind of always there. Let's see, moving things out of the way. Still looking for my scissors. They are hiding. Where are they hiding? I have three pair of them. Oh, here, they're in the thing. See, I cleaned up and <laughs> I don't know where I put things when I clean up. Okay, this is cute. I do like this fabric. And I do think the swirls are cute because they look like waves. Super duper cute. So the good thing about this, even though it is satin stitch, you know, once I get the um, three pieces of fabric on there, then it just does its thing. Then it will, you know, I can just leave it be. I've got so many other things to be putting on other machines that um, that it's no big deal. I do want to get uh, my goal. I have, like I said, I showed y'all my to-do list of things that I have for today, and I will get them done. I have to get them done. Um, for one, those. Um, fishing shirts are for a tournament this weekend. Um, they're picking those up tomorrow. Um, doo -doo -doo. And then the towels, you guys, I have literally been going back and forth with this customer for a month. Sometimes that's, you know, a little frustrating. Um, she knew what she wanted. She, but we couldn't quite, I don't know. So she gave me her logo and then she gave me these black and white towels. Well, her logo is black, white, and red. So it was kind of like, um, you gave me black and white towels. Your logo is black and white. Like, I don't know how this is going to work. So I was a little hesitant, but I, I tried, you know, showing her a couple of different ideas, you know, putting it in the corner, putting it on an angle. Um, and every time I messaged, it would take her like three days to get back to me. Um, but it's okay in the end. We figured it out. I convinced her to do all red so it would show up better. So this is what, this is the other thing I have sending out today are two, um, patriotic summer dresses. I've got one that's red with a blue anchor. And then I've got one, um, that is navy with a red anchor, and I just need to put the child's name and then post those. I meant to have those out long before now, but I'm gonna do one run of those dresses before July 4th, um, so I have to finish those today so I can get the picture, product photo, and go ahead and put that up. Um, I'm going to check and make sure that both the red and blue dresses are fully stocked. And then I'll be listing that in my group as just a one and done, like, tell me now, um, if you want to be added and I'll do it as a kind of a group order. Um, I actually have over here also that I'm working on Halloween, Thanksgiving and Christmas dresses that I will be using, um, adding to my shop. Um, so I have samples to do for those and, and I sold those samples for holiday gear. Okay. So that's looking cute. Um, let's see. Now it's going to do the circle. I love the dresses. Long for my granddaughter. Where can I get them from? Those are ARB blanks. So I use those for all the little ruffle dresses um, that I do. And I do a lot of those. I need to get my next sport fishing shirt on once this starts, fishing all the satin. I 
I just realized that I hadn't sped that machine back up. My other machine I had going at 500 yesterday. I was testing out two different logos. Um, woo! And um, since it was the first time that I was doing them, I, I was doing them pretty slow. I rarely, rarely turn my machine down for much. But since it was the first stitch of something, um, I love it. So now it's going to do the satin stitch around and that will really make it all pop. Um, there's a really cute Father's Day faux smock that says, I love dad. I do love that. All right. So that's got, um, basically the rest of it just runs on its own. I don't have to mess with it anymore. And it's got 15 minutes left. So we'll let it go. And I'm going to get my next sport fishing shirt ready. Okay. I don't know if they want these bags, but I guess we can save them. Uh, now, where did I put my... I'm going crazy, crazy as can be. Good. Actually, I hope it does look good when I'm done. Uh, now I'm gonna figure out where I put my. That's what I love about my like mystery shirts. I love that I get to pick out, you know, combinations and, and whatnot. All right, I'm kind of nutty. I might have to print out another one. Who's kidding me? Where are you? I'm doing samples 
And then I'm also doing, um, I have a group that I do a surprise shirt for each month. So that's something to look for or look into doing um, with your group because that's automatically like, it's like a subscription. And so every month I know that I'm going to have that um, to do. So I can work on those at any point during the month, you know, and send them to them. Um, either hold on to them and send them to them, you know, when they're expecting or they don't mind getting them a little bit early. Um, so even though I don't have a lot of new orders that are flying in, um, these are things that are keeping me busy and um, keeping me working, right? Um, so, um, okay, they're so magnetic and I'm so sometimes not as organized as I need to be that I like carry things around with these. All right. So I'm going to put this one on, and then you guys, I'm going to go deliver lunch to my, to the campers, to all those that are working out there in the field today. Um, so, I will be working hard when I get back. Like I said, this is the last day of camp for the week for my kiddos. Um, we have some other camps going on, but... For this week of getting some of these orders out. I have to make sure when I'm putting the this on that it doesn't bunch up at this moment. I want it to be nice and flat. Because you can okay, stop. I think it's because it's hanging off. There. Alright, and so remember I'm doing a cross way of extra stabilizing and then I'm also using um, I wish I could take the food for me and it just keep working although I love going I get to see my boys um, in action right like so that's always fun and cute they're normally excited to see me normally <laughs> all right so, let's get this one on the machine. Well, that spray adhesive didn't do much, did it? Wow. I think it's material of these is so, um, these are, they're, you know, fishing shirts, so they wear them in the hot sun, so this has got, um, you know, like wicking material on it. I was surprised when she gave me black, I was like, ah, but. Too far, over.
awesome. Okay, so working on, like I said, I've got 11 applique shirts to do today. I've got 17 towels today. I've got six sport fishing shirts today. I've got two shell bags to do today. I've got um, two dresses to send out today. So just to kind of recap, none of this is Etsy. None of it. So even though Etsy is down, finding other ways to keep myself busy, finding other ways to generate income, um, whether it's my subscription um, group, which is my Sam's Club, my surprise applique of the month club, or outside sales of, in the community, and also doing samples for future sales, and that's it, right? Yep. And then someone reached out to me last night um, off of a picture on Instagram, saying, hey, can I get one of those show bags? So putting your stuff out there on social media draws in sales too, even when you know Etsy and Shopify aren't bringing you all the customers that you would hope would kind of land in your lap. So a lot of it is just having to work for it. I hope you guys have an awesome day. I hope you guys have a busy day, a productive day. Happy stitching. I will see you, some of you guys tonight. Tonight starts the back to school live stitch out. Woohoo! So for everybody in that group, I look forward to stitching that with you tonight, eight o'clock. We'll see you there. For those that aren't part of the Stitch Out Supply, um, boo, but um, but that's okay. And um, we will um, be closing sales out soon for the Christmas and July Stitch Out box. So if you didn't get in on this one, please join me for the next one. It's on embroideryaid.com if you're interested. Hope you'll have a great day. Y'all keep staying productive. I'm going to keep running like crazy and try to get as much as I can done.